What do members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints mean when they talk about salvation or exaltation? Are they the same, or is it something more? Mormons, properly referred to as Latter-day Saints, members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, believe in both salvation and exaltation. To understand more, let's turn to the Bible. In the book of John, Jesus discussed heaven and the great variety of blessings awaiting the dead using the metaphor of a mansion. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you, that where I am, there ye may be also. He continued, No man cometh unto the Father but by me. God loves all of his children and wants all of them to return to live with him. And Jesus Christ is the way. Salvation and exaltation are only available because of Jesus Christ. But let's talk about salvation first. When Adam and Eve partook of the fruit in the Garden of Eden, they experienced two consequences. First, they became mortal, and from that moment on were subject to death. The other consequence was they were cast out of the garden and separated from God, something Latter-day Saints call spiritual death. Latter-day Saints believe both of these conditions, physical death, separation of one's body and spirit, and spiritual death, separation from God, can be overcome because of Jesus Christ. Let's talk about overcoming physical death first. Three days after Jesus Christ was crucified and died on the cross, he was resurrected. His spirit reunited with his resurrected body. Latter-day Saints believe he lives immortally with a body of flesh and bone. He was the first to overcome physical death, and according to God's plan, all of his children will also be resurrected. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. So, does that mean everybody gets the reward of resurrection? Yes. In the book of Acts, it says, There shall be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and unjust. All of God's children will be resurrected. Their spirits and bodies will be reunited forever. They will all have immortality. Now let's turn toward the subject of spiritual death, or separation from God caused by Adam and Eve's transgression. God's children also suffer separation from God as a result of disobedience to His commandments. All of God's children can overcome separation from God through the atonement of Jesus Christ and living the teachings of His gospel. The degree to which one is obedient in this life will result in the place or mansion in heaven of which Jesus spoke. Again, the Bible teaches, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Latter-day Saints believe there are many rewards, levels, or mansions in heaven to which God's children may attain. And according to their faith and progression in becoming like the Savior Jesus Christ both in this life as well as in the post-mortal life to come, each one of God's children will be blessed with a corresponding reward in heaven. Only a relatively few, referred to by Latter-day Saints as sons of perdition, will receive no reward in heaven. Save those few, all of God's children who have ever lived will receive some reward, some degree of salvation. The Lord has referred to these degrees of heaven as kingdoms, more specifically, the celestial kingdom, the terrestrial kingdom, and the telestial kingdom. The Apostle Paul referred to the glory of these kingdoms in the New Testament when he described, There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differeth from another star in glory. As each heavenly body differs in brilliance, each of the degrees of glory also differs in reward. And this is where exaltation comes in. Latter-day Saints believe exaltation is to receive the blessings of the highest degree of heaven within the celestial kingdom where God the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, reside. The scriptures refer to this reward as eternal life. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. To know God and Jesus Christ means to develop a relationship with them through worship, devotion, and keeping the commandments. In short, it means to follow Jesus when he invites his disciples to come follow me. Latter-day Saints believe God's work and glory is to bring about the immortality and eternal life of all of His children. They also believe that God wants His children to have everything He has, to become everything He is. This is what the Apostle Paul meant when he wrote about being 
heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Through His atoning sacrifice, death, and resurrection, Jesus Christ conquered physical and spiritual death. And as a result, all of God's children will be resurrected, with a body and spirit united in immortality. All will have the opportunity to permanently overcome spiritual death, separation from God, by following the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's all part of God's plan. And yes, it's true, there are many details of the afterlife that simply haven't yet been revealed. Nevertheless, God asks that His children focus on becoming like Jesus Christ in this life. As they strive to do so, God makes not only spiritual salvation, but exaltation possible for His children, to dwell where He dwells, to live as He lives eternally. Latter-day Saints and what they believe about salvation and exaltation. Now you know.